Hi guys, it's Danny from the Scrap FX Design Team for 2021. Today I'm using my Scrap FX Junk Journal to create some art journal pages using the silhouette face transparency as my focal point. So here I've opened up my junk journal and I've picked a couple of pages out and I'm just gessoing the pages, getting them primed and ready to accept the paint and everything else that I'm going to stick on it. I'm using some Dana Wakely sprays, these are her acrylic sprays and I'm just spritzing them out randomly and using a little bit of water to spread that around. My bottles are getting quite empty because I love this stuff. So I've had to use a paintbrush and I'm painting it on here with the lime and now with the teal. It's a great technique just with the painting as well because you get a little bit more control. And I'm just drying that acrylic off before it gets too muddy. Applying a little bit more of the acrylic colours on the second page again with the paintbrush because my bottles are just about empty. So just random mark making here and just slapping down the acrylic paint just to get a little bit of background happening on these two pages. So now I'm applying some of the pink, bubblegum pink I think it is. And again just getting a few drips and sort of just random marks on the page and just getting some sort of coverage not really thinking about the process just having a little bit of fun with those paints so now I'm using a bit of paper arts the acrylic paints and I'm just sloshing that down I'm using the scrap fx stencil here this is the honeycomb patchwork stencil and I while the paint is wet I'm wiping it back off this is a reduction technique and I'm just getting those marks from the stencils it's just sort of an opposite way of using the stencil basically So just wiping that acrylic back off the page so that I get these random sort of prints from the stencil and then drying that off. Here I've got the Scrap FX Hearty stencil, this is a really cute one and I'm just using some bubblegum pink in the acrylic paints from Paper Artsy and just applying that sort of randomly on my pages as well just to give it a bit of pop of colour. I'm using the rice paper here, this is Scrap FX again. This one is Circle Overload. So I've just torn them randomly in little sections, sort of auditioning them, and now I'm using collage glue to stick that down. Because it's translucent, once you glue them down, you can still see my background paints peeking through, which I really like. And it's just giving a little pop of colour with that black and white and the patterns on the rice paper. It's a good way to use up all your little scraps. And again, just drying that glue off before I apply more product. So I'm using some Posca pens just to go over the stenciling here. So I'm just basically tracing out the stencils making their these little hearts pop out and doing a bit of mark making with some white Posca pen. And then tracing back through those hearts with the white as well. Just gives you a little bit of interest to the page, a little bit more depth and it makes your pages a bit of your own when you've got your own mark making in there and a little bit more interest happening. So really not just thinking about it, just randomly popping down marks and filling up the pages and just enjoying my time with these paint pens. Here I'm using the Chicken Wire stamp from Scrap FX and just some archival ink and I'm just randomly stamping over the page again and then tracing over some of those previous mark making with some black Posca pen which incorporates that black strip of rice paper that's running through the pages and again more mark making a 
love how colourful this page is getting. These are the silhouette face transparencies from Scrap FX, which I've been eyeing off for a while and have been a little bit intimidated by them, but today I decided that I was going to use them. So I'm going to glue them down just on these pieces of book paper. So I'm just using some Liquitex matte medium there and they will dry clear so you won't see that glue once it's all dry. So I'm just giving it a good dollop of glue and then gluing those down. And I'm just sort of squidging them with a baby wipe just to make sure I get all that excess glue out of the way so that it does dry translucent. Got some extra pages of book pages here and I'm just using my Jane Davenport watercolour paints to pop down some colour randomly all over the book pages. And I'm going to pop the two other trans transparencies on top of these book pages. So a little bit of white gesso just to dull that background down. I thought it was a little bit too bright. So I'm just using a bit of white gesso. Auditioning those transparencies and I decided to use some gold leaf on the page just to give it a pop of sparkle because we all like a bit of sparkle don't we. So I'm using some collage glue here and I'm just randomly popping little blobs of glue down and then I can push down the gold leaf into the glue and it will stick or adhere wherever that glue is and then you just rub back on the gold leaf and you get these lovely little pops of sparkle all over your page. It's a little bit messy, but a very fun technique to do. I'm just gluing on a few little extras. I'm pretty happy with those, so I'm gonna glue those down again with the matte medium. And I'll give them a wipe down just to push that glue around underneath the transparencies. And there's my four little faces. So moving on, once they are dry, I tear all the excess book paper off. I've decided to go with those um, watercoloured background transparencies. And I've just glued that down into the page using, again, the collage glue. Making sure it's nicely adhered to the page so it doesn't lift later. And now I'm putting some... Um, paper artsy black paint down this is just sort of embedding that transparency into the page and then I'm randomly putting sort of black splotches everywhere just to sort of incorporate it in the page itself I'm using the Michelle Logan um, bold blooms collage paper here I've just sort of cut those out and I'm going to use them as my embellishments on the page as well so just auditioning them there and I'm using the Fraser's rice paper. I've just grabbed a couple of quotes that I like. I'm going to glue those down with a collage glue onto some scrap cardstock. This is the technique I like to use with these Fraser's. Now that that black paint is dry, I'm mark making over it with a white Posca pen. And it really pops off the page now. Just that black and white contrast. bit of black around the edges of the page and then back to my quote so just cutting those out and auditioning them on the page before I glue them down I'll edge them with a bit of black paint again around the cardstock and then I'm just gluing them down here And again, just gluing those little blooms down, the show Logan's collage blooms. Here I've decided to pop down a little bit of gold leaf, so I'm just popping down a little bit more of that tacky glue and pushing that gold leaf into the glue area so that it will adhere to the page. And again, brushing off the excess. I love that little pop of gold sparkle and then just embedding the quotes by putting a bit of pink Posca around the edges. So 
So flipping over to the second page, I'm going to pop down my second transparency. Again, just using the collage glue to stick that book paper down onto the journal page and just pushing off any excess. And we just go back into the same technique. So I'm embedding it now with the black acrylic paint. Just random splotches across the page. And then once that's dry, mark making over the top of the black. So you got that nice black and white contrast. Popping down Michelle Logan's little bold blooms again, the collage papers. I decided I needed a couple more in the left hand top corner, so I've cut out a few more blooms. And now I'm cutting out the second quote that I put on the cardstock. And I'm just going to audition those pieces out first before I glue those down. Sticking down the blooms and then the wording. And then again, adding a little bit more of that gold leaf just to give that sparkle throughout this page as well, so that they, the two pages flow together. So just pushing the gold leaf into the adhesive spots or into the glue. And then I'll brush off the excess. Okay, and just tracing around the edges of the quotes just to embed them into the page again. And then black fine liner pen around the edges as well. And that's basically it. Two pages done quite quickly using those transparencies and I'm really happy with the way that they turned out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and give us a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. I love to read your comments and your thoughts on the art journal page. And don't forget to try out these art journals and Scrub Perfects products. Thanks for watching.